test driller, virtual class, and financial accounting. This platform is aimed at assisting candidates for financial accounting module. It is done primarily to provide candidates with sufficient typical questions for the examination. Our primary objective of preparing this introductory class is to help students interpret exam questions correctly to obtain comprehensive understanding idea of the questions before attempting them and nothing essential for the sources of the candidates has been left out. We have adopted a typical approach to enable students to prepare and revise topic by topic in order to be familiar with the questions in the examinations environment. Before I proceed, we are going to take a look at the structure of the financial accounting syllabus. The financial accounting syllabus, according to the WAEC, are as follows. Introduction to financial accounting, the accounting equation and double entry principles, accounting concepts, depreciation of fixed assets, reserve and provision, cash book, source document and ledger, bank reconciliation statements, the final account of a sole trader, manufacturing account, control account and self-balancing ledger, single entry and incomplete records, account of not-for-profit making organization, partnership account, departmental account, issue of shares, interpretation of accounting ratios, complaint accounts, public sector accounting, branch accounts, financial system, and information technology in accounting. These are the syllabus a student is to follow when preparing for the WAEC financial accounting. The scheme of the examination will be in two papers, paper one and paper two, both of which will constitute a composite paper to be taken at one sitting. Paper one comprises 50 multiple choice questions, all of which should be answered in one hour for 25 marks. Paper 2 will be made up of two sections, section A and section B, and will last for two and a half hours. Section A of paper 2 contains four essay questions on theory of financial accounting. Candidates will be required to answer two out of four questions for 15 marks. The question can come from the following topics. Number one, bank reconciliation statement. Students are expected to focus on reasons for the disagreement between the cash book and bank statement. 
2. Introduction to Accounting Students are expected to focus on users of financial accounting, characteristics or advantages of accounting and limitation in the uses of accounting. 3. Accounting Concepts and Convention Students are to know the meaning of each accounting concept and convention and how to apply each concept when solving financial accounting. 4. Final account of a sole trader. This can also mean the final account of a sole proprietor. But students are to focus on the meaning of adjustments, closing entries, increase or decrease in provision for bad debt and doubtful debt. 5. Manufacturing Accounts Students are to explain the terms associated with manufacturing accounts. 6. Source Documents Students are to mention and explain the types of source documents. 7. Journal Students are to know the uses of general journal. 8. Control Accounts Students are to list the items found in the debit and credit side of sales and purchases control accounts. 9. Correction of errors. Students are expected to define errors and also explain the types of errors, that is, the one affecting trial balance. 10. Cash book. Students are to define cash book and the document used in preparing cash book. 11. Depreciation of fixed assets. Students are expected to define assets, define depreciation, the characteristics and the methods of depreciation. This section B of part 2 contains five essay questions on financial accounting practice. Candidates will be required to answer three questions out of the question for 15 marks. Section B is the mathematical and posting aspect of the paper which includes topics like 1. Manufacturing accounts 2. Partnership accounts 3. Final account of a sole trader 4. Control accounts 5. Single entry and incomplete records 6. Account of not-for-profit making organizations. 7. Departmental accounts. 8. Bank reconciliation statements. 9. Cash book and petty cash book. 10. Interpretation of accounting ratios. 11. Complaint account and issue of shares. A student sitting for the WAHEC Financial Accounting of Section B of Part 2 are expected to be well grounded in the topics shown. The most occurring topics in WAHEC Financial Accounting according to percentage are shown in the table below. Number one, the final account of a sole trader, which has the highest percentage of 8.59, and 
accounting equation and double entry principle 8.35 complaint accounts 6.94 control accounts 5.65 public sector accounting 5.65 partnership accounts 5.53 manufacturing accounts 5.29 accounting concepts 4.28 introduction to financial accounting 4.24 account of not for profit making organizations 4.12 departmental and branch accounts 3.41 information technology in accounting 3.06 Provision and reserves 2.59, trial balance 2.12, interpretation of accounting ratios 2, cash book 1.88, adjustment in the final account 1.88, bank reconciliation statement 1.76, partnership accounts. 1.76 principal and subsidiary books of accounts 1.53 single entry and incomplete records 1.53 issue of shares 1.41 depreciation of fixed assets 1.29 control accounts 1.29 and manufacturing accounts 1.18 with these tips we believe this information will help students get prepared for the exam in order to perform better and obtain excellent results in our next episode you will get to learn more about how the topics are answered on various topics according to WIAC Chief Examiner reports. Thank you.